up, down, all around, up, down, and all around. Yeah, you got it. Hmm. Getting warm. Now we're ready. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. We are about faith. We are about faith. Hebrews 11 verse 1. We are about faith. We are about faith. Hebrews 11 Verse 1, we are about faith, we are about faith, Hebrews 11, verse 1. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Hello Sprouts and Rockets. I hope you are having a super duper good day. Oh, you are? That's so good to hear. You know what though? I'm not really having a super duper good day myself. You see, I've been praying for God to help me feel brave to speak to all of you guys today, but my belly is still feeling really, really nervous. Has anyone else ever felt like that? Now, I know we have been learning all about faith, haven't we, Sprouts and Rockets? Now, can anyone remind me, who is that faith meant to be in? Is it meant to be in Bluey? No, that can't be right. What about in mum and dad? No, not them either. Can you tell me? That's right, our faith is in Jesus. I'm trying to have faith that Jesus will help me feel brave, but I'm worried that I might feel nervous like this forever. So what I did was I looked in the Bible for a story that might help me. And I found one about some other people who needed to have faith in Jesus too. Do you want to have a look with me? Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus. hey -oh. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. And as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up shouting, Hey Jesus, wake up! Save us, we are going to drown. Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves saying, silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Wow, it seems like the disciples felt like me. 
They were worried and scared even though Jesus was right in the boat with them. How would you have felt in that scary storm out there on the water? You know what though? Jesus told them that they should have had faith. They should have trusted that Jesus is way more powerful and mighty than any storm. And even when the storm looked scary, they could feel safe knowing Jesus was in control. Maybe that's what I need to do too. I need to have faith and remember, even though I feel these nervous butterflies, Jesus is in control. Why don't you repeat this after me to help us remember? Have faith. Jesus is in control. If we can always remember that Jesus is always in control, no matter what, it might remind us not to freak out like the disciples on the boat did but instead to turn to Jesus and ask for his help. Speaking of needing help, I just remembered I need to post a parcel. Let's go see if we can find Paddy the Postie. Oh good, Paddy the Postie, I am so glad you're here. Good to see you too, Emily. What are you up to today? Well, I actually have this package um, and I'm wanting to send it to my sister in Sydney and it's a really special present for her because she's working so, so hard. Oh, that's so kind. Are you going to drop it off at the post office? Uh, well, I thought I could just give it to you because I know you will get it to her. Oh, I actually can't do that. I'm so sorry. Oh. I don't actually personally take all the mails to Sydney. The lovely people in the post office would actually have to go through all the process and give it to the right postie to give it to your sister. Oh, so... If I take it to the post office now, will they take it straight to her? Yeah, uh, no. You drop it off and then it goes through a whole process. It will go through a van and then maybe a plane Ooh. and then maybe another van and then to another post office and then to a postie that would actually give it to your sister. But not you? No. Oh, man. I'm just so worried that it won't make it to her and it's really special. Well, remember what have you been talking about to the nation's kids? We've been talking about faith. <laughs> exactly. And sometimes it looks like we can't see what God's doing, right? Yeah, that's right. But, but we still trust him because we know that he's listening to our prayers and he is working. Right. So when you put your pa package to the post office, mm -hmm. I want you to think of that. Faith looks like trusting God even when we can't see what's going on. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Patty. I'll head to the post office now. Amazing. Well, Sprouts and Rockets, my package is on the way to my sister, but Patty reminded me that faith means trusting Jesus even when we can't see it. Just like I trusted my parcel would get to my sister even when I couldn't see it anymore. Faith means trusting Jesus even when it looks scary, like disciples in the storm. We can have big faith in Jesus because he is amazing and nothing is impossible for him. Before we finish Sprouts and Rockets, I would love to pray. Maybe today you have something you need to trust God with. Maybe like me, you're feeling nervous about something. Or maybe somebody in your family is sick and you are believing for them to be healed. Or maybe you are believing God to have faith to pray your very own big prayers. If you need to trust God with something today, I want you to put both hands in the air like this and we are going to pray together. Why don't you repeat after me? Dear Jesus, help me to have faith in you. Help me to remember you are bigger and stronger than any challenge I might face. And that nothing is impossible for you. Everyone who believed this said a big Amen. See you next week, Sprouts and Rockets.